Hi guys, join me to cook a copper sakma rice. So I brought my rice to the kitchen with my ingredients that I'm going to use to prepare the rice. I own my gas then, my pot on the gas already, and I washed my paper so I can grind it with my blender. I got the blender then I rinsed it in the paper with some crayfish inside it because there's this thing that crayfish normally gives to your jollof rice even if it's expensive jollof rice or sakpa jollof rice it normally gives it a good taste like i don't know about you but i have this this reflection of crayfish inside my jollof rice so i went ahead to add cameroon paper because the fresh pepper was not enough while putting them together i blended all of them together so after blending it and mind you i was cooking this food and my mind was already flying because i said my <coughs> because he said he was going to the market or rather he's going to send someone to buy the fish since i can go to the market i was waiting for them and my hopes are high i said since two hours they did not come back oh but i was having hope that before the end of the cooking they will come back mind you this is the fish i wanted to use to cook this rice then i started cutting my onion after cutting my onion I added my jollof paste and the plates because I love setting all my ingredients for cooking so that it will be a little bit easy and stress free for me. So I added it in the plates with the onion. I opened my maggi, I'm using no. And after opening my maggi, I used my maggi jollof, my maggi jollof spices. It also gives a good taste to jollof rice and i added my gino curry to the plate as well so my ingredient is ready so i was already cooking egg i wanted to use egg to support the fish then i removed it from the pot while i added my rice to the pot to parboil then I sealed my my bag, the bag of the rice because I don't want air to enter inside. Then I opened the rice and stirred it so that it's not gonna congeal. Then I washed out my rice when it was bubbled. Then the person I'm waiting for now came back was not saying sorry because he knew that I already had it. So but I put it in because he came back right in time then i started preparing to to make my stew for the jollof rice i added my onion my tomatoes and added some ingredients already then i added some water then my crayfish and my pepper then i closed my pot then I had it to uh, start uh, deboning the fish because the, the, the fish is many. I started deboning the plates while the, the stew was already done. So I added my rice to it and stirred it together with the fish when I finished deboning it. Then I had to wash it out and pour it into my rice. And I peeled out my my eggs and also put it into the pot so that it can cook together and added some water as well because my water was already getting dry so I washed out the dishes that I used in making my in making my spices and preparing the food just to make the, the kitchen look clean again I washed out the dishes and cleaned out everything or every mess up that i did in the kitchen and after that 
the last result of the rice so the water was already drying so i had to stir it so that the water will come together with the rice very well while i continued in cleaning up the kitchen then this is the last result of our rice and it's looking so yummy and sweet as well i headed straight up to taste my food and it was given so sweet so thank you guys for watching bye